Hi, hello. This is Anup here, and in this video, we are going to see how to reset MFA contact details or MFA mobile number with the user access or from my apps.microsoft.com portal. So, I already have a post about this uh, how to reset multi factor contact details of an Azure AD user but this is basically from Azure portals in this video we are going to see how to empower user how user can change their multi-factor authentication contact numbers from their login rather than contacting or help desk so user needs to log into myapps.microsoft.com portal with their Azure AD. In myapps.microsoft.com portal, on the right hand side, user will have their profile picture. And if you click on the profile picture, you can go to profile. There are other options like apps, groups, profile. If user can go into profile, they can see a option called additional security verification. On on the right hand side below the manage account so click on that to change the MFA or multi-factor authentication contact number or mobile number so if you go to the next page where you can set the additional security verification you will get a lot of options over there what is your preferred options under the preferred options you will get five options one is call my authentication phone and the second option is text code to my authentication phone third option is called my office phone fourth option is notify me through app and fifth option is use verification code from app or token the default option in my case is text code to my authentication phone so if you go down you can see an op option called how would you like to respond so which option you want to select for an additional security verification as you can see uh, there are four options over here one is authentication phone office phone and the other one is alternate authentication phone uh, authentication phone and alternate authentication phone that is what I am going to use and even I have authenticator app which is very handy for user wants to change their authentication uh, MFA contact details or authentication phone details then they need to go to this tab authentication phone and they need to select the country country code so basically if it's United Kingdom it's 44 if it's India it's plus 91 and if it's United States it's plus one if you would like to add office phone number you can add that office phone number you will get a call to that number through that call you can authenticate and the other option is to provide a backup authentication phone number so if your primary phone is not available you lost phone number primary phone number probably you need to have a backup phone number so that is the alternate authentication phone number and the third option is authenticator app so if you are using iOS or Android phone, you can go to Google Play or Apple Store and you can download Azure authentication app okay. and you can log in with your ID and using your secure authentication, you can log into that app as I can show over here. If you click on setup authenticator app button, that will give you a barcode. If you show that barcode to your phone camera from your Azure authentication app, it will automatically authenticate after that you can click next and finish finish the configuration I have already done that in this case so I have an iPhone and in that iPhone I have I already have Azure authentication app I can log in with that authentication token I can use that that authentication token token as my second factor authentication after configuring or changing your phone number authentication phone number uh, you can click on save button over here in the bottom if you click on save button it will try to authenticate if you change your authentication number it will try to send you a code via SMS you need to enter that code and once you enter the code correctly uh, then the the configuration or change of your authentication phone number is completed in new authentication phone number will be stored 
and in the future all the authentication codes will be sent to that particular phone number authentication phone number that is it for this video thank you for watching see you next time